Hey, Jason, when you get the ball there um, down to and you get Kemba, you give it up to Kemba and he gives it back to you. What does that, what does that do for your confidence? He's basically telling you, we want you to take that game time shot. Uh, it does a lot. Uh, you know, obviously, Kim was one of the best players in this league. He's been doing it for a while. Hit some big time shots. Uh, you know, and mature enough to understand. You know, when it's not really his night offensively. Um, and, you know, he's been he's been doing a great job all year. Uh, you know, he sees me going, um, encouraging me, um, wanting me to take the the challenge and you know, hit the big shot. Abby Chin. Jason, along those lines, do you see yourself as the closer on this team? Just depending on the situation. Um, I'm not afraid to take that shot, uh, even if it didn't go in. You know, those are the moments I would live for, but it's all about game situation, depending on um, a matchup maybe or um, who has it going. You know, it just kind of depends. Chris Ryan. J Jason, with where you and Jalen are at your, in your career and where Gordon Hayward is this year and Kemba, do you feel like this Celtics team going into the playoffs has the best diversity of, of weapons and is the most difficult team to, to play against? Uh, I mean, i say yeah. Uh, we got some super talented guys, you know, down the line, you know, smart, JV, uh, Kemba, Gordon. We have so many guys that can do so many different things offensively. Um, they're so talented and so different. And as a position, I think, you know, for me, just, you know, being more of a playmaker, um, trying to make the right reads when, you know, when they start blitzing and um, having so much attention and you know, making sure I find those guys, you know, to get them going. Clavis Murray. Uh, hey, Jason. Um, you talked about what Michael Brown means to you, and today's the anniversary of his passing. I know the motive of the bubble is to keep awareness going and hold people accountable. So I was curious, what was your reaction and what was going through your head a few weeks ago when it was announced his killer won't face charges after a reinvestigation? Uh, I mean, the same same emotions I had back in 2015. Um, was it 14? I think it was 14, 2014. Um, it's sad. Um, I don't know I'm black, you know, man can be gunned down in the street and um, there's no justice being served. And I think that's what we're fighting for, equality, um, to be treated like equals. And five years later, you know, you know the officer in murdered Michael Brown is still able to, to walk around freely and enjoy his life after taking the life of you know, Michael Brown was unarmed in the middle of the street in broad daylight.